We come to question five. Uh, it says a light ray in water is incident on a flint glass surface at an angle of 50 degrees with respect to the normal. Uh, the question is, what is the angle of refraction with respect to the normal? It gives you the index of refraction of water, 1.33, glass 1.58. Okay, so it's going here from um, water. The beam of light is coming at an angle from the normal, 50 degrees. And then this is glass. The index of refraction, 1.33, 1.58. Which way will the beam of light bend? Well. Since the index of refraction of this one is higher, that means light slows down in glass more than it slows down in water, right? So relatively speaking, light will travel faster in water than it does in glass. So visualize uh, uh, waves of light come in, okay? These are called wave fronts, wave fronts. So we're, uh, we're visualizing light right now as a, a wave nature, okay? And the wave nature has wave fronts coming. And so what is gonna happen? Well, this part of the wave front enters the glass before that part of the wave front does, right? So when it enters the glass, it slows down. So in a given amount of time, this part of the wave front travels less distance than that part of the wave front. So this part, goes over here, it, it travels more distance. This part goes over here, and so the beam of light, the wave front is already bending, right? So it's gonna look like this, okay? So you can see it's, that it's bending. So in a little bit more time, it will travel this much. That part will have traveled more. So what will the wave, wave front look like? It'll look like this, and then it'll look like that, okay? And a little bit longer, this part will travel here, this part will travel here, and the wave front will look like this. Okay, so what has happened? The wave front completely started bending right here, and then by the time this part of the wave front enters here, this part has gone here, the, the whole wave has bent. So what happens to the beam of light? It bends inward. We're calling that bending inward. So the light bends towards the normal light. This is the normal line. This is called the index of... This is called the angle of refraction. This is called the angle of incidence. So the equation that we're gonna use for this is called Snell's law. The index of refraction of the medium that you began with, N1, sine theta i, this is the incident angle right? Theta incident. And then that's going to equal the index of refraction of the second medium times sine of uh, 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 angle of refraction, theta r. So in this case, we're given n1 is 1.33. Sine, this one is 50. This one is 1.58. Sine theta r. So if we divide this, we get 1.33 sine of 50, divide that by 1.58. So we basically take this and we bring it here and we get 0.64483, that's equal to sine of theta r. So if we wanna know what angle is there whose sine is equal to 0.64483, then we have to take the sine inverse of both sides, right? So theta r, is gonna equal sine inverse of 0.64483. So now if we take the sine inverse of the answer that we just got, and we get 40.15 degrees. 40.15, well, which answer is correct here? 37, 40, 48, 51, so the answer is B. Now, we could have ruled out 51, immediately because 50, we knew the answer had to be less, right? So the answer can't be 51. 48 looks like it's too close to 50. So you can kind of rule that out, but not uh, exactly, you know? So it is a possible answer, but 51 definitely you can rule it out right away. So the answer for this case was B, okay? Thank you.